This week is trash. Absolute garbage. Gar bonzo beans. Which What up, YouTube? Welcome to yet another video. We will be discussing the Supreme Week 6 drop list. Now, overall, I'm not a huge fan of this week. I do not think that this week is really that great. It's just kind of whatever. But I don't think it's as bad as other people are making it out to be. It's, it's definitely not a good week. But a lot of people are hating on the collab, and I think they're kind of hating on it for the wrong reasons. I mean, for me personally, it's not really something that resonates with me or something that I like. But I do overall think it's dope that Supreme is coming out in support of this and that they are... I don't know, I just think it's a dope topic. I think it's kind of a cool thing for Supreme to do overall. I think these pieces make for good statement pieces. But we will get into all of that in a moment. First, make sure if you guys do not follow me on Instagram already, make sure you change that, change your life, go follow me. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. I'm telling you, my Instagram is fire. And recently, I actually just posted a photo where I showed off a Louis Vuitton jacket, but this isn't just any Louis Vuitton jacket. It's the jacket that they basically copied or remade when they did the Supreme Louis Vuitton uh, denim jacket. So uh, yeah, go check that out if you're curious. Anyways, like I was saying, this week is actually headlined by the Nan Golden collaboration. And I apologize if I'm saying her name incorrectly, but to be honest, I'm not too familiar with her work. And this collaboration, I feel like a lot of people don't like it. If you go to sub community, it seems like, uh, yeah, man, it, it, it's a lot of red in there. <sighs> I'd be yawn, but anyways, for me personally, um, I don't think this collaboration is necessarily bad, and I think a lot of people's critiques of this collaboration are somewhat weird. Like, I, I see a lot of people saying, like, oh, they just slapped a photo on it, but it's like, they do that all the time. Like, you, you liked so many other collabs where Supreme just slapped a photo on it. Let's be real, you just don't like this collab because you don't like what's on the shirt. For me personally, it's not really something that resonates with me, so it's not something I'm going to wear, but I do think it's a dope statement piece, and I wouldn't say this collaboration is bad because of the, the pieces themselves. Supreme drops stuff like this every single year, and if anyone says this is the worst collaboration, I don't know where they've been the last couple of years because the Cindy Sherman collab was way worse. But hey, that's just my opinion. Basically, if you guys are not familiar with what they're dropping, they're dropping the collaboration with Nan Golden, and they're dropping three different photos on some decks, some tees, some hoodies, and some coaches jackets. Now, I'm not too familiar with Nan Golden's work or basically her background or anything like that. I did do a little bit of research. Basically, from what I have gathered, she is an American photographer that was like kind of got really popular in like the 80s and 90s. Her work focuses around like the LGBT community, the opioid epidemic, the HIV crisis, like stuff like that. A lot of her work is definitely like, it kind of has like this grunge style and a lot of it is pretty cool to be honest. I was looking at some of her work from the Ballad of Sexual Dependency and there are quite a few pieces that I would have liked to see on a shirt. Even if it was that kind of stuff though, there's not really many pieces that I would feel compelled to buy. Or at least buy for myself, I should say. I like her style, it does have this grunge style. I also do like that she documented these issues, but just in my personal opinion, there's nothing that really, even like not just these pieces, but like the other pieces that she had like they're just I don't know I mean one they're very explicit if you look at a lot of her work it, it's definitely like very in your face and I think that's probably one of the reasons that she's such a respected photographer is because she made and documented these these photos and her photos told a story. Supreme has never been shy about sharing their opinions or standing up for what they believe in and I think that's kind of dope. I mean I know like for example back when they had the presidential election they posted I'm with her and obviously when Donald Trump won they dropped the FTP or the fuck the president tees and in my opinion I know a lot of people get mad at that kind of stuff but for me personally I respect it when a company shares their opinion regardless of whether or not someone disagrees with it or whether or not even it disagrees with my own personal held beliefs or opinions like I just think that's dope. Like, I I don't think everything that I think is right and just and I am just this perfect unflawed human. I am proven wrong all the time. And I think that people get so caught up in their personal beliefs and they feel so passionate about it that anytime someone shares their belief and voices it, they're like, yeah, but then the moment someone disagrees with their personal belief or opinion and voices it, they're like, what, you shouldn't say that? And like, just freaking up in arms. But I don't know, that's just my opinion. Now, as for the rest of the week, 
the rest of the week isn't that great. Like there's a couple pieces that I think are dope and I'm really stoked to hear that they're dropping the summer tees. I'm copping all the summer tees. All the summer tees are mandatory. I'm definitely acquiring those. But other than that, there's really not a whole lot. They're dropping these rayon shirts or button ups. These are absolute garbage in my personal opinion. You may disagree. If you do disagree, that is completely fine. I don't even know how to dress. So, you know, hey, take that for what it's worth. Some other pieces they are dropping that I'm not a fan of. They're dropping the striped raglan knitted sweater. I'm not a fan of that at all. They're dropping the mesh arc tee, which I think these are decent, uh, but I probably will not acquire them. They're going to be a little bit more expensive, like 70 to 100 bucks. They're dropping the chest stripe polo, and I think that these would be sick if they were t-shirts, but as polos, I'm probably not going to acquire them. I will say I do like the color schemes. I like those crazy colored stripes in the middle. And then, of course, they're dropping the, what is this thing even called? The Knowledge God practice jersey. And, uh, yeah, I absolutely despise this piece. I think this piece is terrible. It's got this, like, V-neck with this god. It says Knowledge God. It's got, like, freaking Shenron from DBZ or something. I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of that piece at all. Now, like I said, they're dropping the Mesh Arc tees, but they're also dropping the Mesh Arc tracksuit. So... They're dropping this tracksuit in a blue, like a yellowish orange color, and then a black. These tracksuits actually aren't half bad. They have this like 90s vibe. For me personally, I'm not going to acquire them, but I could see why some people would rock them, and I could see a lot of people pulling these off and having a pretty dope look. My other one complaint about this is that I imagine uh, the pants are probably a little bit baggier because Supreme tends to be a little bit baggier. And I feel like mesh isn't really gonna stack that well. So I don't know, man, I'm not a huge fan of it and it's not something I'm going to be going for. But like I said, I could see why some people like it and I think that some people will pull it off and make like a dope outfit out of it. As for this hoodie, this looks like a very blank hoodie. However, this is actually the studded hooded sweatshirt. So you're going to have Supreme in like studded letters across the back. I think this piece is decent. It's probably not something I'm gonna go for though. And uh, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Before we get into the pieces I will be going for, let's show off a couple more pieces that I'm not a fan of or that I will not be acquiring they drop these pins I can't even really see what these pins are because uh, yeah will it make a difference with my glasses um, nope I got no freaking idea what these pins are oh they're ladybugs man I would have never guessed that but yeah so they're ladybug pins not yeah I'm, I really don't care about those at all they're dropping these corner logo or whatever the heck these are hats and I think that these are decent but they're flat rims so yeah don't care about those and then they're dropping these freaking tin foil freaking I don't know like shiny freaking hats or whatever and I think those hats kind of go with these work jackets now the hats I'm not a huge fan of but these work jackets I think are super sick uh, I definitely like the Gucci colorway of course and then of course you have that black one which is sick this is the reflective stripe like mechanics jacket and uh, yeah I plan on going for that green one I probably won't go for the black one but if I can get my hands on the green one I definitely will not be complaining and then last but not least the other piece that I will be going for, or the other two pieces I'll be going for, consist of the repeat zip-up hooded sweatshirt and the pants. Now, some people don't really care for these. For me personally, I kind of like them. Uh, they grow on me a little bit more and more. I will say that, like, normally I don't really like the all-over Supreme branding, but I do think that this is a little bit better or, you know, is executed a little bit better than the repeat denim jacket they did two seasons ago. This kind of reminds me of, like, the FTP all-over print anorak stuff that they did, and I really liked that, so of course I'm gonna like this. I will say I would have liked it a little bit better if they used, like, an all-over with the compact font or the classic font or just basically, like, a smaller logo and they just repeated that all over, just kind of flat and not, like, at an angle. I think that would be a little bit doper, but that's just my opinion. It's also cool that it's inside the hood as well. As for the colorway, I'm not quite sure what color I'm gonna go for. I was talking to Ari Petru, and I think he's going for the tan colorway. I'm probably gonna go for the black or the burgundy, but I mean, who knows? We will see on drop day tomorrow. But yeah, what are you guys fans of this week? What are you guys copping this week? What do you guys think of this week? Are you guys copping anything at all? Or do you think the whole week is trash? If you think the whole week is trash, I'm sorry, you definitely have not seen the tease. If you want to get a closer look at the tease, of course, follow Drops by Jay. He is the source for a lot of this information. I think the tees are fire, man. They're dropping some heat for the tees this season. These are some of the better tees I have seen in quite a while, and it kind of helps make up for the week because some of the other stuff they're dropping, I'm not a fan of. But I do think that the tees are hard, and there are a couple pieces that some people will be trying to acquire. 
this week. So let me know what you guys think overall. Make sure you smash that like button down below. Of course, subscribe if you've not already and turn on notifications. Please turn on notifications because supposedly that's an issue going on right now. Thank you to everyone that has notifications on that comments the notification gang at first. So just comments right when the video starts. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram. I am posting some fire photos and it will change your life. So make sure you go do that. I just posted a picture actually that was super sick. Leave a like, leave a comment, you know what I'm saying? Show some love, whatever you want to do. And uh, uh, yeah, it's enough plugging. I got to go to freaking school. So peace. Acting like you met a nigga like me. It's nothing, only stressing about the dough. Keep a bankroll, big knocks in my pocket filled with loss. Hit the scene, PRP, Montclair for the call. Backwood for the smoke. Had to run the bands up. Last year I was broke. See, my ex is out of public, so it started acting funny. You was saying the nigga was worthless when I ain't had no money. Bitch, I love the judge. That's the type of shit I'm on. I'm addicted to the search. Put a pint on my cologne. If I can catch no cases with you, you can't come around my vicinity.